Hi, I'm Robert, and this is Thread Cutting. In this video, we will demonstrate how to cut threads on the sharp lathe by cutting the thread on the end of the punch shaft. As the part print shows, the end of the shaft is threaded with a quarter twenty thread, 0.5 inches long. Pull the collet and part into the spindle, then tighten the drawbar. The drawbar must be tightened such that pulling the lever on the drawbar locks the collet into place. The handle will pop when the collet is locked into place. If the drawbar is not tightened enough, the lever will fully extend, but will not lock. If the drawbar is too tight, it will not be possible to fully extend the lever. When the drawbar is tightened properly, the handle will lock into place when fully extended. The stock should be installed in the collet so that approximately one inch of material is exposed. A turning tool is used to cut a relief at the end of the thread. Set the spindle speed to 270 RPM and cut a relief at 0.5 inches along the part. The relief should be as deep as the minor diameter of the thread, in this case 0.188 inches. A 60 degree threading tool will be used to cut the threads on the shaft. Set the height of the tool so that the tool is at the center line of the part. Use a small ruler to verify that the tool is at the correct height. The tool should be angled perpendicular to the center line of the part. Loosen the nut on the top of the tool holder, use a fishtail to align the tool, then tighten the nut. Set the compound rest angle to 60 degrees. Check the TPI chart on the side of the machine for the correct gearing for the thread. For 20 threads per inch, the gearing is B3. Set the letter knob to B and the number knob to 3. The gearing inside the machine must be set to match the TPI chart on the front of the machine. However, for most common threads the gearing should not need to be changed. Lightly touch the tool tip to the part and zero the compound rest dial. Passes will be made by advancing the compound rest. Back the compound rest out 100 thousandths. Move to the left and confirm that the carriage will not hit the headstock when cutting the threads. Move to the right and turn the machine on. Set the spindle speed to 240 RPM. Move the compound rest back to its zero position, then in 3 thousandths. Apply cutting fluid to the part. Engaging the half nut will move the carriage and begin threading. Always ensure that the half nut is fully engaged. The thread chasing dial indicates when to engage the half nut so that the tool follows the same thread with every cut. 
For even numbers of threads per inch, the half nut can be engaged on any graduation on the dial. For odd numbers of threads per inch, only engage at any main division marked 1, 2, 3, or 4. Engage the half nut on any graduation for 20 threads per inch. Disengage the half nut when the tool gets to the relief at the end of the threaded section. Return the compound rest to zero, then back 100 thousandths. Feed to the right, then move the compound rest back to zero. Advance the compound rest another 3 thousandths, and again engage the half nut. This process to the final depth. For a quarter 20 thread, the final depth is 38 thousandths. Remove cutting fluid and chips from the part. Use a file to put a slight chamfer at the beginning of the thread and lightly clean up the thread surface. Again, clean the part to ensure it is free from any chips. Turn off the spindle and check the thread with a quarter twenty nut. If the nut does not fit, take another pass with the threading tool another two to three thousandths deeper and check the fit again. Once the nut fits, remove the part and clean up the lathe.